<laughs> hey, everybody. It's uh, David Kohlmeyer, the Problem Solver. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today, Thursdays. At 4.30, we go live every single week talking about problems, how we can help people in the community, and have amazing people on the show uh, bringing their expertise. Uh, today, as usual, we have our amazing Laura, our celebrity psychic. Hello. Happy to be here. <laughs> if you could just move the microphone a little bit to you, you sure, a little low. a little quiet. Yeah. We try to be nice, vibrant, loud here. <laughs> we have Jean T, Dr. G here. Oh, hello, darlings. Jean T <laughs> is amazing. And then we have our special guest uh, who's Black Ice. Uh, Black Ice uh, Reality Check is what is, is that your yeah, the name Black of the company? Black Ice Reality Check, yeah, that's the podcast. The yeah. podcast, the podcast, yeah. right? Um, and he is a dating consultant and a social media personality. So Black Ice, thanks so much for joining us. Thank today. you, Ooh. thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Uh -oh. A guy's perspective. Uh oh. Uh, actually, women too, because uh -oh. I, I counsel more women than men. Oh, that's good. Or coach, I should say. That's so good. I'll share with you real quickly. So um, Black Ice basically has a podcast here at Sticky Paws Studio. Um, over here, Rainbow 215 in Las Vegas. And uh, he's been doing it for a while. I've been following him for a little bit. And I actually think he speaks very intellectually about dating. And I'm impressed with where I think a lot of people, uh, when they hear him speak, some people could be uh, be upset. They could be negative. Mm. Some people could be positive. Mm -hmm. And it's a very interesting perspective. And especially now that I have you know two female co-hosts that are mm. here. I, do I, is there a panic button in here for me? <laughs> <laughs> and there's a guest too. Give me that Give thing. Me too. Stop. So we have, <laughs> well, we have three girls and three guys. Come on. If we have to have order. Even. Yeah. If we have to have order, this is what's gonna. Pretty, I may have to hit somebody. That's uh, pretty even. Now, Watch I wanna, out. I might hit back. I want. I want you to be careful because Laura seems very pepped up today. She's very excited. She must have had a little extra coffee today. I noticed that she's very vibrant. And like drinks, it. coffee. De I'm gonna say decaf. I, I think she's just ready for this conversation. Uh -oh. Yeah, is are you? She's yeah. done her homework a little bit. Oh, on you. oh wow! <laughs> yes, I didn't do any homework. I, I just, you know, oh, great. I just did goes my with thing. the flow. Sounds like a man. So, <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Some people say to me, like, you know, who comes on the show? Why do they come on? And you know, in the beginning when we started the Problem Solver, it was like I had different nonprofits and different. It was like a little bit more serious. But these days, you know, every single week, right? We have different people. I want to. Uh, have it more engaging and also fun. Um, sure. So everyone has different perspectives. So I, I did want to talk about, you know, dating and, you know, yourself, specifically in Las Vegas. So a lot of people say you can't find a good guy. You can't find a good girl, you know, Vegas. Personally, I met my wife in California, but she mm -hmm. did actually us go to school here. But we just happened, we met online. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. not sure if you guys know, but I met her on eHarmony. Oh, um, oh congratulations. My oh, joke yay. is I paid $243.85 <laughs> for her because I was the... <laughs> The year membership, so <laughs> that's a deal. Is it not not bad? That's it. I don't even think I used the discount code. It was just straight <laughs> membership. Oh my god! I went on eHarmony one time and okay. put in my criteria, and they say, "I'm sorry, Janti, we have no match for you." I've heard that zero. What? Yeah, it was weird, and I'm like, "Oh, okay, well then." <laughs> it's you know that's interesting. God, I've heard that they're a little picky. One, they're okay. actually my brother and his wife. They're married like 27 <clears throat> years. They actually went both on eHarmony to see if they actually would match them. But I don't think they got matched. No, they, they, they like, I think it's they, been a while. They ask know. you like a huge criteria yeah. questions. Like, very specific. They're stuff. almost, and, I, and again, I'm not going after anybody. They're almost like the Mormons, like, oh, I'm not married. Yes, you are. You're married. You don't qualify. Like, they check everything. Mm. And I think when they ask you the requirements in there, you put all the information in yeah. there. I, yeah. That's what I was told. Yeah. I mean, no, mm. it's very specific. You know, <clears throat> eye color, hair color, height, all that stuff. A lot of questions. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't it's, asking for God. <laughs> But you know, it's been um. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> it's been uh, it's been a while. So I don't know if it's changed, but I'll just share one thing, which is kind of funny. You know, during that time, I guess the iPhone wasn't as rel relevant. But these days, I notice um, you know, people like girls. I noticed <clears throat> that gym. I don't know why I remember this. And they're swiping. And I wasn't around when there was the swiping going on, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And later. I'm kind of upset. Like it seems a lot of fun. Like you're swiping now. Like you look at the picture and you swipe now. He's not good. They're swiping She's now. Good. Oh, you don't want to get back I, on it? No, no. But I, I, it <laughs> seems it almost seems engaging, like a drug, well, right? Like they, you just yeah. They have doctors for tendonitis. And the doctor, when I was single, said my I was I need to swipe left instead of right because <laughs> my thumb was hurting. Literally, <laughs> it was it's a joke. But seriously, like <clears throat> everybody has a specific want, need, and mm -hmm. desire in a person, and you're just the first thing you do is look mm -hmm. what's this person does they f and then you read the you know do they have a big you know long you know eight paragraphs on mm -hmm. it they want it all or are they pretty simple to the point and so people just start doing this and it's a habit mm -hmm. it's almost an addiction mm -hmm. yeah, yeah right? you and, and how you get started you know with all this stuff um so <coughs> for the last you know born and raised in seattle uh went in the military last 27 years i've been in the tech industry i've owned tech companies done investments working with you know executives, multimillionaires, software engineers. And I started getting around a lot of people that 
I started seeing the challenges in corporate America, two things, uh, the politics side of it. And then I also saw the, the people getting to at what I would call high value, right? Uh, it's not just based on money for men, but it's based on your social network, social e economic standards and whatnot. And they had dating challenges. And then the, the, a lot of the women would have dating challenges. And so what I started finding out was that what women want and what men want are two different things, totally different. They're d different needs and desires and wants. And then why aren't they coming together? And, and so it's the prediction, here's an example, by 2025, 50% of the women out there are going to be single. And I think 50%. 50%. Because there's a social change that's happened, and it all started in '65 with the uh, hormonal birth controls and the changes and the and the needs and, and modern day marriages and whatnot, and mm -hmm. people going different ways. And oh, now now I'm on birth control. Now I can go out and express myself more. If you know what I mean. Or I want a traditional man. I want a guy to open doors for me. I want a guy to provide and protect. But yet I don't want to be a traditional woman. Mm. So what's your gender role? When you say gender role, immediately a lot of women are like, "What do you mean gender role?" Right? And what I'm finding is. Men have always have been have not changed in the in the last couple of decades. They've always been traditional, but the women have went from hey, uh, the feminist movement came out. Mm -hmm. It was about uh, choice. I I I I have to have choice, which is great. I'm all for that. Then it moved to more equality of opportunity and outcomes, and that's where the challenges came. And then it's like hey, we're equal. And then a lot of the women started becoming masculine. And now, it's, and now it's, hey, if you're a masculine man, we're going to emasculate you. And so you've seen the shift, and now a lot of the, a lot of the ladies out there are trying to be men, like men. And, and their biological, how we're wired biologically, that doesn't work with their gender roles. They can make it work. They can still be successful. They can still do those things mm -hmm. like a man. But then what happens is most of the successful women that are successful in business, <coughs> very successful, you'll find out most of them are single mm -hmm. and miserable about it. Or they say, I don't need a man. And so I started looking into this. I started reading, you know, 28 psychology books, relationship books, getting around people, mentored, you know, uh, reading about different situations and relationships, dating, evolution, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I started talking to the men and I did that for about 10 years. And then the last two and a half years, I've been working with women and I've, so I've seen the traumatic difference. Nobody's on the same page whatsoever. And when you call people to the carpet and hold them accountable, they bite back. Right? They don't want to hear the truth. And so I say, well, what's the outcome you want? Do you want to be married? Do you want to live in boyfriend, live in girlfriend? Uh, some people don't want modern day marriage. Some people just want to date. Some people want to stay single. Whatever it is, but nine times out of ten, the pages are off. And they overvalue their, their worth, right? The sexual marketplace value, mm -hmm. right? There's two different sexual marketplace values for men and women, and they're off tremendously. So, for example, oh, I'm a ten. Every, every woman, nope, not, not directing to you two. I'm a 10. <laughs> Everyone says they're 10, right? Or it's like... I don't think I'm a 10. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. But, but to me, a 10 would be a woman that's getting paid for her look. She's a supermodel. Not that that's what I'm attracted to. But she's getting paid for her look. She's an actress. She's a 10, right? So what I find is the standards have to be adjusted. And if mm -hmm. they're not adjusted, they continue to do the same thing in the cliche statement, doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result, Right? Well, I'm going to fight the system. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So some yeah. aspects, I mean, <laughs> some aspects, but I, I feel that yes, men have changed. Women have changed. But one of the reasons that I think women have gone into their masculine is that they are not being cared for, not having their needs met. And so they, in order to do that, they've stepped into that masculine energy to get that because it wasn't being done for them in a proper way. And now we're in this interesting time where I think we have women, you know, and I think women can and should have careers and, you know, that, do all things if they want. That's fine. Um, and a lot of times men are also not in their healthy masculine. And instead of supporting women, they often are attacking. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about this on the How Crime so? Solver TV show. Literally, they're literally How attacking so? women. Yeah. <laughs> violence, um, not emotionally supporting women, right. being critical instead of supportive. Being um, able to have like 10 women on the side because they're supporting you. I mean, stuff like that. It's like, now this has been going on since the beginning of time, right? That whole male and female yeah, yeah, role. Yeah, let, but, let, me, let me address oh, this okay, though. Yeah, they did a study on violence and domestic violence and they found that women were more violent in domestic violence. But when it comes to striking and the deadly strike of a man, that's, that's more deadly. But when it came to physical altercations, women were more violent in domestic violence than men. 
but how men, I, I believe that men have more violence towards women in general. That's not what the that's not what the reports study? were. The studies, yeah. I, I you're see, talking about a recent, probably a recent time yeah. report. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I know when I was, this was like 20 years ago, I was working um, in a, for a youth home. Um, and at that time, the, the statistics were, were different. But mm -hmm. yeah, perhaps they have changed. I think that women have started to fight back, fight back right. and, um, and also step into aggression because in many cases, their their needs are not being. I'm not saying that's a good or right thing, but I do say that happening. But I think you know, we women have been suppressed most of our uh, yes. existence, right? We're talking about from the beginning of time, thousands of years. So now we're tr we're finally, you know, at the point where we're able to stand up for ourselves and, and and say things and stuff. I mean, I came from you know Asia, and the culture there is you are married off as soon as you have your period. So you could be like 14, right? And what your family does is marry you off to be basically a slave to your husband's house. But you're, and you're, this has been happening. Right, but you're in the States now. Well, right? yeah, but so, it still happens here And they here were oppressed, well. not suppressed, right. Yeah, but or, but yeah. if, if, you, if you go after, for example, when you say they're not being provided for, what, like, for example, I don't know your situations, but, like, are you single, both of you single, or married, or? I got out of single. a long-term relationship uh, last year, and now I'm dating. Okay, okay. And that's going well? It has. It is for me going now. There's definitely was a learning curve. I hadn't um, been single for a while, so you know, just and you're. Oh, yeah. I'm single. Yes. Okay, okay. So ten, ten years. single and ready to mingle. So it's the, it's, oh, it's the outcome and expectations, right? And yeah. and when I say that, for example, you know, when when we we do our research study and data and and speaking with individuals, high value. It, that's what a woman wants, right? 10% of the men out there are high value. 90% of the women are going after those 10% of men, mm. and women feel like they don't have to compete. And they say, well, I want six feet tall. This is an example. I'm not saying it. Six feet tall, six figures, right? They want that guy. And the probability for most of them is like 0.2%. Mm -hmm. But they don't see that. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, well, I'm not going to lower my standards. And here's the biggest challenge for successful women. Women date in a hypergamy setting. You know what that is? Hypergamy means you date your socioeconomic level or above, right? Mm -hmm. So the more successful the woman is, the more likely she's going to be single. Mm -hmm. because even if you date down and you because women date up you're wired that way that's how you're you're biologically wired to get the biggest strongest fastest most successful individual handsome right mm -hmm. so if you date down what ends up happening is you start losing respect for the individual as a man and he starts becoming emasculated mm -hmm. you become and fill the masculine role and that does not work the dynamic doesn't work and so for an individual that's very successful and you say, well, the guy has to meet these criteria. Well, if you're making $10, $15 million a year and a guy comes in and he's making $100K a year, that's not going to work. Right. It just won't because there's no, there's no respect because he's not a provider. I, I disagree with you in premise. I, you know, I think there's, if you're in a similar world, that can work. I, you know, I wouldn't want to be with someone who's greatly, you know, like someone who's a minimum wage worker, for example. That mm -hmm. just wouldn't work for me. But... I think a lot of it is about energy and confidence. And you brought up the issue of height. So my last ex um, was not taller than me. Right. And it didn't bother him, so it didn't bother me. But it depends on what each person wants. I know, but I'm just saying so much of it is an energy. Like, he was very yeah. masculine in his energy, so it wasn't an issue. And I love to wear, you know, five, six-inch heels. That's my regular. And so that meant I was quite a bit taller than yeah. him. But it because it didn't bother him, it didn't bother me because he was very in his masculine. But did you, it didn't work out. Not because of the height, but it didn't work out. Yeah, it had to do with ideological differences. There you go. So, But not, not to do with, like, what, masculine and But feminine. what do you want in a relationship? That's the key. And then do you know what that man wants from you? or in a relationship and the, the the differences are polar opposites right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so so like why and, and i'm going to direct this to you okay because i don't know you i don't know you and so these are again these are generalizations and these are the the findings that we're seeing so what what type of guy would you be looking are you looking to be married one day or are you sure. okay so yeah. what does that man look like to you what 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 are you looking for in a man oh god god that's a it's it, that's mm. Now it's changed over the years, right? Sure. But yeah, I do have a, a list that I made. Okay, because, so please because, provide the list. <laughs> <laughs> please tell well, us. Well, I the think list. you know my list, but you know, I mean, yeah, hi. Superman. But you know, it's I don't know it. But at the end of the day, though, okay, I have this list, right? Okay. And let's... and whatever that list is, 
my my exes or my boyfriends have have not matched those lists completely and i and i was with them i experienced whatever i experienced and took the journey with them right sure so it wasn't about that at the end of the day it was about attraction and if we got along okay so so what 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 is what does a person have to do for a living? What type of money does it bring? I mean, I it, it's been uh, it's it's very varied for me in the past. I've had guys that were very very successful, you know, doctors, lawyers, and executives, and uh -huh. I've had guys that you know are just starting their business, or you know, uh, handyman stuff like that. So it, it's but but yeah. now how old are you? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, I'm uh, almost sixty. You're almost sixty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> you're lying. You're lying. No, good. I'm not lying. No, no, seriously. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Okay, 10 years from 60? No, no, closer to 60. Okay. Just say I'm close to 60. So you see, yes. we, we need to get the truth, right? But here's my point. If you're almost 60 mm -hmm. and it hasn't worked. I just figure God is just taking his time to formulate and make the right man, oh. you know? The right man is going to show at the right time. But you know I'm what that man wants. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know what he wants until he comes okay. and tells me okay, what he so, wants. So then let me ask you this. What, yeah. what do you bring to the table for that man? Not much, not much. Yeah, not much at all. As value. I mean, what do you yeah. bring? He, I'm surprised you're not being so honest. That this is, I actually am paying him by the hour to be here for <laughs> no, you. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I, I, I'm not, We're trying to work I'm not out. putting you on the no, stand. No, I'm just giving you examples of yeah. what, what we go she, through. Well, I don't know. I, I, God, don't be very God vocal. I'm not sure what's about God, but you still got to put the work in. We got to, you know. Right. You know, I've been asked this before too, but, and I'm really bad at selling myself. You're not selling. Per se. Like, what? Well, if you ask me, what do I bring to the table? That is a person selling themselves. Okay. Yeah. So. To some degree, right? Why? It's just so, what yeah. you like. It's what your likes are. Like, I'll be honest not with not you. Not just when I want When I wanted to get married, a girl that I wanted, I wanted, I, I actually called it out. I said, small, petite, brown hair, brown eyes. I never talked about physical success. Physical description. Physical, yeah. physical yeah. description. Yeah. I never he's talked about success. He's asking the opposite, like what John T brings to the table. Yeah, he's yeah, asking what she brings yeah, 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 yeah. to I'm the sorry, table. I'm sorry. Well, first yes. we started what you wanted. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I am successful. I think I'm not ugly. Um, I'm You're beautiful. somewhat intelligent, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, I think I bring a lot. And I can cook and clean and, okay. you know. She's a good stuff. cook. I can okay. attest to yeah, that. Thank you. Thank She's you. full service. Yeah. She's full service. I do everything. You know, I, I, get, full blow, service. I get blow jobs. You know, I'm, you well, know I role play. So, I do a lot so of different things. I'll give you an example. <laughs> I'll give you an example. So most, most men don't care about your money. Mm -hmm. They don't care about so, how successful you are. Right. They want a woman that's feminine, attractive, that, that fulfills that gender role, right? that can be a, a nurturer, mm -hmm. right? Submit to the cause of the family, right? And a lot of women have a hard time doing that. So when, when they say, I want this guy, right? I know you said it doesn't matter, but if they want a high value man, that's what high value men want, right? Mm -hmm. And then they say, well, then I'm not gonna be with high value men. Well, that's fine. But based on the conversations I'm having, the biggest challenge is gender roles in relationships. And, and at the end of the day, we don't want masculine women. We don't want aggressive, combative women. Right. We don't need to come home to that. We want peace. And if we can't have peace, we'll, we'll hold out. Now, an average guy, and it's not based on money, your network, your, mm -hmm. your social economic status, mm -hmm. uh, you know, your peers, they look up to you. An average man doesn't have those options. If you take 100 men, only 10% of men are having sex right now mm -hmm. with women. Right. Interesting. Only 10 percent. So all these fuck boy. No, only 10 percent because they are at high value. They have accessibility to that. Okay. Now, we talked about earlier guys cheating and all this stuff for multiple women. That's been going on for centuries. So a lot of these high value men have options. So for women, if they want to date a high value man, they have to understand what a high value man wants. And that is a fit, feminine, attractive, submissive, cooperative, easy to get along with woman that that fills that gender role. And if a woman says, I don't agree. Well, I'm telling you yeah. what I see. Yeah. Don't you I, think? I, don't you think all men think they're high value though? No, not at all. Because sure? I'll give because you an example. I'll give you an example. Yeah. If a guy's if a guy's five foot five, bald and fat, he knows he's not going to get a hot woman. Mm -hmm. I completely disagree with I you. A hundred percent. We have been on apps where you get the yeah. oldest, you know, quite heavy, unattractive, you know, by the sort of standard metrics. Everyone has different opinions on appearance, but you know, stereotypically not what you would consider attractive. And they, but they go, think they are. They think they are. They Absolutely. Think they are. And, and most of these men that the are digital, not. The, the digital world don't count. It's in person. Oh, no, in person well, as well. well. That's where we're meeting because people. Because I know a digitally. lot of. And that's, I know, and that's the challenge because but, high, high value not, not men me. are going to be on a dating Not app. me. I'm, I'm not online well, at all. So. Some are, but I, it, it's in person too. I get, yeah. I'm a model, you know, I get so, hit so on all when, the time. So when you say they assume, is it because they're, because they're uh, approaching you? Approaching you. you? 
Yes, that's one. Yes, and also <laughs> how they talk about themselves and their assessment of the things that they say. They can believe that, but the outcome speaks for itself. And they know, like, look, you, you said it, right? If, I, if you tell me that you're, you want a certain guy to look a certain way, it's okay when a woman says that, but when a man says that, there's a lot of problems around it. But I'm telling you right now, I don't have most of these guys that. have accepted where they're at. They know. They know. Most of them do. The ones I speak to, they're mm -hmm. like, look, I know I'm not going to get a beauty queen. Because mm -hmm. cause here's, here's how it works in the sexual marketplace value. Men are, are, are judged on success. Women are judged on their looks. That's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. You don't have to accept that. That's the facts. Mm -hmm. So when guys look at a woman, the first thing, oh, she's, she's attractive. And a woman's sexual marketplace value peaks at 24. Mm -hmm. A man's goes all the way up into the 44s because man's is based on success. Nobody's gonna, nobody wants to be with a scrub. A woman doesn't want a scrub. I think women honestly look first at a man's appearance too. I mean, I don't think that that's, that does matter. But yeah. look, look, and I'm not, just, I'm not a bad example. Bill <laughs> Gates ain't. The, look, you go up to you go up to a guy in Seven Eleven, and and he, you know he says, uh, you know, if Bill Gates was working at Seven Eleven, he's not attractive at all. And I'm not saying you date the guy, but if he's wearing a Seven Eleven, that's not attractive. A couple billion dollars. He's pretty attractive. He's completely yeah, unattractive to me on to you, every he's, level. He would be attractive to <laughs> yeah. me. No, <laughs> exactly. And, and this is an example. To, clear, example. to most women, he I'd would be, be attractive, example. I'm sure. Yeah. But that's why you have most women yeah. going out with these multimillionaires when they know they have girlfriends. Yeah. Yeah, it's what the, wives, it, yeah. and, and it's not just about the money. It's the 90%. Like, you can be the 10% that says, oh, I'm not interested. That's fine. You're the outlier sitting out here. The majority are saying, this mm -hmm. is what I want. Mm -hmm. You know, if I pull up with a pinno, mm -hmm. <laughs> dirty jeans, and I, and I go into a Starbucks, and my face is dirty, my hair is not combed, I'm not, I'm not cleaned up, my, my probability of meeting an attractive woman is zero. Mm -hmm. If I show up with a nice car, because they want to say, okay, he has a nice car, maybe he's got his stuff together. Women are very judgmental. Mm -hmm. Women are very judgmental on me. Let me see his nails, he's clean, okay, but I bet you he's a girlfriend. Let me check his Instagram, right? They go through all this stuff, he's attractive, he's got his stuff together. It, that's how we're judged, I right? I think judgmental and having standards are different things. I mean, to me, clean nails, that's just like a general just cleanliness, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. just like... But we're splitting well, hairs, right? <laughs> Let me just like answer my question. I don't quick. think so. You know, it's interesting. You always see like this like ugly looking guy with this beautiful woman. So whether he has money or not, but his confidence, sometimes these ugly guys have confidence, a lot of confidence. Right. Yeah. I don't know right. why. Yeah, they have confidence, like, but they also have something more... else. They got a big fucking bank account. Okay, because let's look at Jeff Bezos. He, let, he, he paid $50 billion for his girlfriend, left his wife cheated on her with another Latina, a mm. Latina news reporter who's attractive. Mm. Jeff Bezos isn't attractive. Now, do you think that guy pulled up in a Honda, which he drove all these years before he had Amazon, do you think she'd go out with him? Mm -hmm. Not a chance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not a chance. Mm -hmm. Success object. Mm -hmm. It ain't looks. Because yeah. you, you tell me he's good looking. I that, think for that, some women, it's both, honestly. Yeah, but, okay. that, but that's what I'm saying, too. So, so, so the men or most men that have this kind of king complex it doesn't matter who they are. If they have money, right, they will. But there's more than just money well, for a man. The value true. has to be, are you a gentleman? Are you, are you, yeah. you know what I mean? But no, no, my point was, if a man can get away with having multiple women, regardless if he's married or in a relationship or whatever, he's going to have it. And that's what, that's the problem I have with men is that king complex that they it's have. It's not a king complex. We were biological. <laughs> yeah. well, we were biologically, we weren't meant to be with one person. Mm -hmm. We were put here to, to reproduce. That's what that's what we're here for as right. as human race. I'm not saying <laughs> well, wow. supposedly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not to I'm not justifying and saying it's right. <laughs> this is according to Black Ice. This is uh, this is science. This is black Ice, you mean? Because mm -hmm. yeah, it sounds like y'all playing black. It's saying Black Guys. <laughs> Black eyes. See, Wait, uh, what are you talking no, about? No, you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is science. If you go look up all the science journals, the psychology journals that say that, and then you're going to say, oh, according to me? No, that's science. Yeah. We're no. biological animals. We black, eyes, here. black eyes is science. No, no, no. Uh, but but are you, you see shame yeah, and guilt. No. Then well, I get shame and guilt. But the fact is... We were put here to reproduce and yeah, mate. Yeah. No, because or procreate, right? Yeah. But but I'm not just hold on, hold on. I'm not just Why justifying. you were put why are you? here? The science or whatever the history is is not why we were put here. I look at it from a spiritual perspective. You can look we at it were as a spiritual perspective. Put here and the, and to me that's kind of like this god complex to like it's say that's what complex. we're here no. for. When I'm like you're king, not god. King complex. Okay. Or king, king complex. Because have, kings have like a whole have, harem, you know. We have yeah. testosterone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not justifying it. Don't get it twisted for me justifying. I'm telling you why men do it. I'm not saying yeah, it's yeah. okay. Right. Okay. I'm just telling you. Oh, no, I understand. So here you go. Yeah. 
the high value guy, the top 5%, he's got all these women after him. I'm not saying he should cheat. Yes. I'm not saying that's a good thing. Right. But I'm telling you why they do it. Men don't yeah. do it because they, they love the woman or they just, they don't love their wife. Right. If a woman cheats, she built an emotional connection more than anything with a guy. You spent time with them, a sure. work husband, a, 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 somebody at the gym. You built this relationship with them. Guys are like, oh, woman. Right. We're basic yeah. food, fun and yeah. sex. Yeah. Right. And, and they have sex. Oh, you don't love your wife. No, he still loves his wife. Right. That his, he couldn't control his biological need. Now, I'm not saying it's right. Right. A woman, oh, like you said, wouldn't. Oh, no, I wouldn't. You know, they wouldn't you just go out and fuck a guy. Right. Well, yeah. some do. Some, some do. <laughs> I know a lot Those of them are, that do. Some are starting to be like men now. You yeah. see, and they are three or fours. Yeah. Because a woman's body count matters. A man's no, doesn't. I, yes, it does. I disagree. Yeah. I've, Name I've one known time in history very... that a woman that's been promiscuous has been rewarded. No. One time in history. Oh, lots of um, Who? S- pop stars. Uh, Who? I mean, even I'm um, Kim Kardashian. Her she got famous for a sex tape, and now she's a multimillionaire. Oh, yeah. I'm and sorry. she's a hoe. But I'm saying she's successful. She's, she's home, rewarded right? she's for successful. it. The, the rewarding, right. the rewards. But 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 there's never been a time in history where promiscuous women have been looked upon as value. Well, she's super she's, valued. She's she, not valued. How about Jesus' she's not uh, disciple? You're looking at her from a money perspective. But there's, there's no. Many, but there's reward. But, and there's also but many the men that want to no. be with her. I'm sorry. So Sims? I disagree with you in the. Well, the you can concept. because I wouldn't be with her. <laughs> Who was it? Well, I'm not Jesus saying I would disciple. either, but. Um, <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? You're looking at it for money. Men don't care about your fucking money. I'm not money. looking at money. She's a very no, desirable he, woman, and a lot of men would like to sleep about with her, the too. the rewards of her well, being and doing I'm, what yeah, she did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes, that's right. Kim would. Kardashian, you just mentioned, a lot of people want to sleep with her because of her... her They'll, sleep, be, with her. They'll sleep with her. Not They'll sleep with her. They'll put a money. ring on her finger. Not because of the money. Right. There's a difference. I'm just saying she's been rewarded she in got, a lot of different... She got married several times, too. Yeah, exactly. With high-value men. Dude, I think we should be a hoe. I maybe I'll, they, get, I'll, I maybe you guys I'll get married. Ho- I'm confused. I thought you guys were already hoes. Am I wrong? <laughs> Not a hoe. But, but you see, you see what I'm saying? Like, like it's <laughs> women says, "Well, I got lots of guys uh, that are attracted to me." Yeah, they'll fuck you. Yeah. But they're not going to put a ring on you. There's a difference. Men control access to marriage. Women yeah. control access to sex. We propose. You are the ones that hey, you know, you're not doing anything with that thing with me. Yeah. Get away from me. I think we all women should go back to the old times and not give it up at all. If all of us in con- stick together, collusion. it's like a yeah. union. You guys should unionize. I actually, I think there's a lot of value to I that think. in not letting someone into your intimate space until <laughs> there's more to it than just. I think Jean-Pierre should start the union. When I you think I'm going to start. I mean, I haven't had sex in I don't know how long, so I don't remember. What's the, the reason why time. she hasn't? I don't understand this. She's a very well, attractive woman. Why hasn't she had sex? In a long time? I am selective, she says, darling. I mean, I, but but you're. Men, I guess men, well, maybe why, it's better why, to be a man than not not be so. How, how many dates do you do you, do you date do often? I date? No, not very often. Maybe once or twice a year. So how long is this list? Is it one page? A list of what? Your oh, need? the uh, the 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 criteria. The the, the no, um, no no not it's it's one page. Not even a big page. We're talking about a little. Little note you know, section. And so you're yeah. telling me uh, all, the, all these people that you haven't met the right guy. No, not yet. I mean, I have met some good guys and I've met some bad guys and it's just not the one yet. So my belief is that, you know, I made a promise with maybe my soulmate from the past life to say, you know, we're not going to meet each other until we're 80. You okay. know, that's maybe is what I'm, that's that's what long I'm time thinking. That's a long time. <laughs> so, and, so I'm holding out, you know. Have, uh, you ever become, been, have you ever been married before? Or? No, I was engaged a couple of times. Okay. Yeah. And why didn't that work out? different you know we went different ways i mean and nothing bad you know i mean nothing negative or bad were they as the successful breakup. as you or are you, you yeah. pretty successful well, they were success I, well yeah well one was and one wasn't okay mm-hmm. and and did you what was the last the last one was it two three years ago or something no my last fiance was uh oh well the one on the show i don't know i don't really count that one so you've been engaged three times um well the first time i thought it was a joke so i just laughed yeah so as, wow. I was younger. I was in my 20s. So what were you doing in your 20s? Like, w- were you looking for relationships or what were you doing? No, just- I wasn't looking. I just, you know, go with the flow and, you know, experience life, had fun, had, you know, sex on occasion, not much. I'm very selective about who I allow into my, 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 my aura, right? And I believe just having sex with random guys or whatever guy that wants to have sex with me, I don't, I, 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 I feel like... Um, like they can take something from you, you know, like for me, you and know, like put spiritually. Energy, yeah. Put you're, energy you're, in you feel as well. put energy in. And, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, not just energy. I, I don't but I'm just an let empath, any, any, so, any yeah, energy you, come inside me. Okay, exactly. So. 
<laughs> it takes a lot to. By the way, I'm not sure if you know. Um, Joyce, he tell tell her. Um, he doesn't know know you, but tell him about the show that you won, the reality show. Oh, you haven't seen the show? No. It's called Marrying, know you. Marrying Millions. Okay. Um, they've had two seasons already. They're filming season three now. Are you on it? Uh, I don't know. By your choice. <laughs> She can't say per se. I can't say per se. Oh, okay. But, okay. Yeah. but she was on one one season. One two. Two seasons. Season one right. and season two. But if you watch it, then you'll you know you'll know me better. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't watched that show, but I might have to look at it. Is it is it, was it last year? Was the last season? Uh, twenty twenty is when it came out. Okay. I think season two came twenty 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 one. Anyway, we have to have you come back if you watch all the. The show is about the relationships. Um, uh, the the you know one's rich and one's not. So when you are you meeting the people on the show? No, no, no. How did you There's, meet that particular guy? I forgot the story. He was my handyman. Okay. Yeah, so he did construction for... She's always dating the help in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always. Last time was the pest control guy. Sugar mama. <laughs> then, it was that, the, then it was the duck guy. He used to clean you know the that's not going to work out, right? Yeah, the pool guy. No, don't listen to him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but he, you did date the pest control guy, no, did you I not? No, I did not. I thought you told me that. Never dated the how pest did, how control did you, guy. Wait, okay, so how did you meet this guy? He, he, I hired him for one of my jobs. Okay. Uh, just that was that was just the last guy. That was the one on the show. I'm now, messing with you. She's a control other, freak. She's always like, no, listen, I am not. Uh, am I, all my okay. other relationships were so would you say, were very successful. Was he at your very. was he at your level and above as far as? Uh, oh, absolutely not. So you not were the, the one from the show. So That's the premise: is there's a wealthier yeah. person and a poor person together. Yeah. Oh, is that what the she's, show's about? Yeah. She's yes. the millionaire. Yes. See, but you, but you know, hypergamy. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, you, you, women have always wanted to date up, right? That's just that's just how it is. I mean, but yeah, I think but in the modern age, it's not, yeah. it, it's changed because what, yeah. what, what women, a modern woman needs it's, for a man has changed. Right. It's not just and about that. That doesn't mean out. we're not feminine. You said earlier that most men won't provide. If that guy's at your level and below, he's not going to provide. He's there, not going to give you the option. If you have children, here's a question. If you have children, do you have children? I do not. Okay. So if you have children, this is why I ask people, be honest. Do you want to raise your children? Or do you want a daycare raising your children? Daycare. I want an au pair. <laughs> Specifically. Nanny. I can't win with these. No, but, but, but hear me out. Do, when when I, I was married for 16 and a half years, yeah. we left on good terms. I gave her the option to be at home with the children. Mm -hmm. She took that option. I provided. But if I was making less than she did, we'd be on the streets. And then you'd say, well, men aren't providers. So when you say, well, I can date down, you're not going to get what you need. I think there's a lot of different ways to look at providing i think there's a financial aspect i think there's also care and kind of just taking care of a woman Emotional. emotionally Emotional aspect. you know so physical aspect so here's a question laura you mentioned mm -hmm. before and it's yeah. funny because you know there are people that watch the show and basically message me yeah and someone messaged your comment and um you mentioned about not dating someone that like minimum wage right yeah so if the someone was really loving and caring and there you, go. you know supported you like what's the big deal if they have no money or no no they're working they were you know could be a dishwasher but they're, well, they're so madly a, in love with you and there's lifestyle elements that need to match at least they don't have to be exactly the same they just need to be similar world to me um but just the things that i like to do uh, if someone is at a much lower economic status, it would be difficult. For example, I travel a lot. I have kind of a jet-setting lifestyle. There you go. Someone that's in a uh, nine like to five or minimum mm -hmm. wage job, first of all, they're making less money. They can't. They can't do. They also might not even be able to take the time off of work, mm -hmm. or you know. So there's there's things that just wouldn't line up about that. You know, it's funny when I when I looked yeah. at, when I looked at my wife in general like that or any woman, I never thought about the money situation because that's not what we look for. And men, and men she, never look at. She was money. successful, but to me, it was like I just wanted to be in love with the person right. and be also sexually attracted but, to her, right? But a person that can go travel with you that that's going to require about a six figure income. No. Yeah, they're going to be working I mean, remote. They're going to be working remote. To, I would say traveling is not that expensive. But no, no not to but spin. Just, but yeah. she said jet setting. They're going to be gone a lot. For that person to continue to work, they're going to have to be remote. That's probably mm. going to be some kind of tech role. They're going to be making close to six figures a year. An entrepreneur. Yeah, I would say, but it could be low six figures. I mean. Okay, so low six figures. So here yeah. we go. So the average person between the ages of 24 to 44 years old that makes six figures a year, that's unmarried, it's not obese, a male that's average five foot nine in America. That's the average height of a male, okay? Because you said height don't matter. That's 5.4% of men in America. Now, that's wait, fine. that's a probability. <laughs> but here's, the, here's, a, here's the thing. Here's the thing. To compete, because women don't lie. I don't want to compete. You have to, because those men are looking for one thing. They, want, they, know they, have the, they know where they stand. 
you can call it King Kong Complex or whatever, but they know they, they have <laughs> yeah, access to 90% <laughs> of the women want them. Yes. And so you know what they choose? The titties. M- mid, <laughs> l- mid, mid, no. M- mid, l- <laughs> you can't do that to me, right? You're distracting me. No. That's why, I use, her zipper. That's why I use them. <laughs> they, 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 they choose mid to late 20s, single, <laughs> childless, fit, feminine, and attractive. If they get any masculine energy, if they get any pushback, they'll go right to the next opportunity. Mm-hmm. And so when women see that and they go, okay, well, then I guess that's not what I want. Well, you're not going to get it because you have to. That's, that's a competition. I, well, that's I why disagree I'm, with you. Okay. But, yeah. but that's why women are becoming you know, self-sufficient now. Yeah, but we need yeah. to that's why you, you that's, why you buy, that's why you have cats and dogs right. to fill your emotions. But that's what you, based on what you just stated, this is the reason that women are coming right. into their so own and so taking you have care of ourselves. Options. You stay right? single with your cats right. or you change to, to get what you want. Now, if you don't want that number, if you don't need that lifestyle, if you can date minimum wage, then it's not a problem. Mm-hmm. Now, you know what I mean? So you I say you disagree, but six, nine months from now, or a year from now, will you be engaged if you want to be married? We come I've, back on the show. Yes, I'm sure. And okay. I already have, you know, I'm dating. I've already had several men that wanted to marry me. and But you didn't marry them. No. Why? Multiple They reasons. weren't aligned. They weren't aligned. There's no alignment. Um, okay, well, no, you guys can be not doing a lot. total al- alignment. But anything. you'll be doing alignments till you're 90, right? No, so, but I've not been dating okay, for that someone, long. Okay, if someone is abusive <laughs> or, or be, this someone's is her abusive, second life, right? Probably. She's not <laughs> her second okay. life. Well, I'm on my 10th, she's so let me tell you, I'm, and... I'm older than everybody yeah. in this room. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, I don't okay. know that you've heard that. First of all, you're 49, I'm 53. Yeah, okay. I was born in 1969. Exactly. Okay. So now, checkmate. Nope. Okay. All right. You're not 60. I know that. You're lying. But no, seriously. The like, Cambodian blends like very. She uses no a Cambodian idea. Cambodian, French, Vietnamese. No idea. What, what Cambodian, you, Chinese, French. Okay. It's yeah. A, it's a Cambodian I, cream that makes it look you young. You have no idea. Wanna, oh, you need to put that in a bottle? Cambodian cream. <laughs> Lather it all over right. my body. I want to talk about that. I feel like there's all. Uh, yes, there's <laughs> women that are hyper and they're masculine and definitely, at least in the romantic sector, I think could benefit from being more feminine. I completely agree with you on that point. How, what exactly that means, I think we differ on. But I also feel like there's a lot of men that are just not in their masculine energy. That's true. There's and, a lot of betas real, out there. There's a real problem where I'm like, hey, come after me. Come like, See? if yep. you, you know, like they don't even make any effort. Maybe and they like, don't, but maybe they don't want to, though. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe not. But there's somewhere I know that they do. And they just, it's like. You know they do? How do you know? What, what are, they, are they telling you? or what? what, what? They're definitely not telling this you. Is a, I'm, men, not, I'm not being facetious or sarcastic. I'm like, yeah, how do you? Because like, men don't communicate so anyways. Here's a, let me just. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Guilt and here's, shame. Here's a question Guilt and shame. Modern one, woman. One of, the, one of the listeners said, this is interesting, <laughs> yeah. um, basically said that, that, that uh, Laura, you know, she just admitted to being a gold digger, you know, no, without I stuttering. No, um, I, I didn't. Th- I just want someone that's in a similar range to me. At similar range, it doesn't have to be like higher than me, but at yeah. least in the same world. Yeah. So I guess so, we, we so, have I'm a, so I guess I'm a high is, earner. What, I'm what, a high earner. When men, so. say, <laughs> when men say that one of these women are gold diggers, is it? I mean, it's, uh, what what define what mean? a gold digger is. That that, that they have they to have money. the same amount of money or more. Like you know what I'm saying? Well, it, it, here's the way I look at it. This is because she's is, saying she's not saying she doesn't want to no, work. No, 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 no. But but traditionally, as a man, my my role. I have, I've been with the same girl for four years, living girlfriend, right? Stay-at-home girlfriend or whatever you want to call it. We, we act like we're married, but we didn't sign the government contract, right? Mm-hmm. Um, my job is to provide and protect for her. She has the option. I pay for everything. That's not a gold digger because we're in living together in a marriage-type relationship. If I'm dating a girl and we're traveling all over and she's like, take me to Paris, take me to Dubai, do this. And, 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 and real, pretty soon it's like, oh, I need new uh, LV, I need an LV purse. I need mm-hmm. new YSL heels. I need yeah. red bottoms, baton, right? I'm like, wait a minute. Is it about the money? She's gold digging, right? But in this but situation, you're getting something for it. Sex, right, I would well, assume. Right? Men, that's another thing. She's not gold digging. I would say. I'm not saying yeah, that. She's yeah. not a gold digger. Thank but, you. No, I, it, <laughs> not, I'm gonna get back. To, I'm gonna get back to this. I get one compliment, right? No, but <laughs> it's like, not saying I'm not a gold digger. With all due respect, the gold digger status. Are, are you, this is where people are, are uh, out level themselves, and they say, "Well, this is what I want." Well, you might not qualify for that, right? So. And back to what you're saying, all men pay for it. Mm-hmm. Men will always one pay for it, another. one okay. way or another. Yeah. Either transactional, yeah. marriage, dating, girlfriend, it, it, no money, no honey. Uh-huh. Right? No yeah. cash, no ass. Yeah, true. It's yeah, just the way it is. And then you can sound crude, but if yeah. I, I guarantee you, if I didn't have any money, I, I probably wouldn't be dating anybody, right? 
because I can't even take care of myself. It depends. I mean, there's plenty of broke guys that oh, still try to get coochie. We all have the time. both had this. John That's T and I have both That's had and homeless men ask us out. Yeah, because they're men. Here we, okay, here we go. Here we go. They're they're asking you because they're men. They're driven by testosterone. They're yeah. still sexually active. I'm not saying they're qualified, but every guy will want it. No guy's going to say no. Mm, yeah, most see? men, most men are going to say if you if you guys showed up at somebody if you line ten married men up and their wife say, babe, I'll let you have sex with these two beautiful women if they're for it. They don't, they're going to say no. No man's going to say no. I disagree. Yeah, no. You no, can disagree I, all you want, I, but I'm one percent maybe. One percent maybe. That's one percent probably. Okay, yeah. so so my are. point the is, rest, is that forget about it. The, 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 there is guys it. that are like, you know, know what, you know, I, I I need I need more depth to that. But on a sexual drive, yeah. Yeah. if it's no. just about sex and nothing else, yeah, you put on lingerie, high heels, uh, you know, thigh mm -hmm. highs. Yeah. Yeah, but a bum, a, a middle class, a poor middle class, rich, wealthy guy. Yeah, sex is one thing. Relationships totally different. Totally mm -hmm. different. I mm -hmm. agree. And and the guys that are your level and below all want relationships cuz now they're dating up. They're dating up because now they're like, "Ooh, look at the prize. Look at this. She's above my level, but maybe maybe I can convince her to go on a date with me." Mm -hmm. Right? And now they get in a relationship and and the guys, you know, again, not just based on money, making 50 grand a year. And you say, "Okay, I like you. Move mm -hmm. in." Mhm. Mm Right? So. And then what happens? And then after a while, you lose, <laughs> no, you lose respect for him mm. because he's not providing. There's no contribution, right? Like if I ask a, a, a gal, I say, what, when you get married, what, what, how much of a contribution do you want to make to the overall bills of the house? Right, right. Now, your situation might be different, right. but they're like 10%, 20%. But how about the women that are okay with that man making less than them, but then the men are the one that acts that's, up first. That's, and I become, think, yeah, and, a you real know. issue. That is an issue, but there's two sides to that because, number one, genetically or biologically, it's hard for a woman to respect a man that's not performing at their level. And then the man's insecure. He yeah, is insecure. He, he, insecure. he is insecure because she's outperforming him. I think a man who's really secure in his masculinity is not necessarily going to feel that way. I do. Hard I mean, as long say, as they're, yeah. it's, uh, that's just not to say that they would if they're not doing anything, like if they're not doing dark squat, but if they are an earner, if they have <coughs> endeavors, they, they've had success on some level at least, I think someone who's uh, secure in their masculinity is not necessarily going to be comparing themselves to their women. They're going to have to what be you, very secure. And you, you don't know. have a big percentage of men that I think are I'm that secure. I'm not saying that there you know? are a lot of them out there. That's I'm a just problem. saying that it does well, you, happen. You yeah. that. It can happen. Well, I'm just saying, based on what I've Deal, dealt with. Well, you then know? you need to find a, a, I'm a better value guy. I'm trying. Are you hanging out at yacht clubs instead of a dating app? Are you going I, to? I'm not on any dating apps at all. Okay, yeah. so so these guys like I had a gal call me the other day. Two cats, single. I, I joke about that, right? Uh, she's like, I said, look, you, you kill the I, cats. I've seen you your Instagram. I didn't say that. No, look, she's looking at me. I didn't say I kill the cats. No, so, he said that. He said that. I didn't say that. I'm allergic to cats. I would never. I would never say anything bad about cats. I, I was when, so, when you see a woman company, single honey. with like two cats. It's like, it, 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 seems it, like a it, it sounds like a movie. No, What's wrong it, with that? It, I have two cats. Because most women that are single have cats for an emotional it, connection. Well, how about men that day? have cats? Or dogs. Dog. Men have dogs. Dog. Dogs oh, are different. Masculinity. No, if a man no, has a cat, cat, I'm going to question his masculinity oh, all day long. You know, know John Orlando's got cats? That is terrible. You know John Orlando's got cats? Yeah, and I tell him that every day. But he's But he's in a relationship with... His girlfriend. Another cat. <laughs> Another cat, right? <laughs> pine, size, pine size warrior. What do you I guys think great. about what he said about I, and, cats and, and men? And, and my, yeah, my, my girlfriend's joke, nickname is Puma Cat, but we don't have cats. We have a dog. I always joke around with John saying he's got all these pussy cats in the house running around. I'm not going there, right? <laughs> my uh, pussy cats? No, John. Oh, he's John, got, John. He's got a yeah. bunch of cats and he's got his girls. Well, so he likes a lot joke. of pussy, obviously, right? It appears so. so that means he's wow. masculine, right? This is his she's, studio. I'm not vocal. talking about it on John. He might <laughs> say, get the fuck out. <laughs> she's you You're be, fired. When you show up, they're going to get eviction notice on the door. Like you're evicted. <laughs> so, no, but back yeah. to your question. Like, like I was talking to the gal, and she's like, oh. And I said, look at her Instagram. I said, look, you're at nightclubs. You're in your 30s. You're partying. Mm -hmm. like, guys, guys of value aren't attracted to that. They don't want that. They'll right. hit it. Right. So she's and she goes, "Where'd I go?" I go, "Cigar lounge. Go to go go to go to a, y a yacht club. Or go to a country. Club. Go to an event, a black tie event, a social gathering. Yeah. That 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 event that happens in Vegas. I can't remember what it's called. Where they have swingers. Uh, <laughs> the green door. <laughs> see, 
<laughs> now I'm worried about this one. <laughs> she's fine, okay? Even though we she's, disagree on a lot, I'm on the same page. This one, oh, she's, she's alone. Some, she's somewhat normal. Look, look, I'm this very one's normal. Here's, <laughs> the, here's the thing. Look, we're always, it, 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 here's the thing I tell people. The people in my genre, we all don't agree with each other 100%. And just because I disagree with her doesn't mean that she's not a good person, or we're not, but I respect her <laughs> as a woman and a person. We might disagree. Yeah, and that's a okay. conversation I have to... But to this one, understand. I'm really concerned about. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm probably the most normal one in this I, two room. Things. One, of the, one of the listeners, not to... Uh, this other person said this. Said that when Laura was talking about a minimum wage earner that she was stuttering because she didn't want to sound like a gold digger. But no. she said that he can make in the low six figures. There was no stutter. Then he says, gold digger. And it says, no. women like He's her are the good. exact reason why men lie about how much they make. Men, all, men do lie about how much they make. Whoever, whoever that is, totally overanalyzing. Yeah, okay, I just was Christ. trying to find the right words God. that were PC just and not like, you're judgmental. Okay. Means you're Jump yeah. lying. Jump one story, I will say this. You know, it's interesting. I was just telling my wife the other day that, you know, I, I like playing matchmaker like every quarter on my own Facebook. I'm like, oh, whoever's single, like, I want to match. Wait, and wait, I, you, you lost me at Facebook. That's like a VCR. Nobody's using <laughs> Facebook sure anymore. <laughs> We're old, that. honey. It's no, no, I'm what? old, but, but I, you know what we use say, Facebook for? I'm older for? than you. I have Facebook. Friends You're not older than me. <laughs> You're not older than me. You're lying. lying. You know why I know? Because when I ask you, you look to the right. No, I... You're I'm older not. than 53. Yes. You're not older than 50. What are you talking about? No, you're not. She's lying. No, okay. you're not. So if I Google your information... You can Google all you want. You can't believe everything you read or see even or even hear. Yeah, she's like... What year were you born? Oh, well, somewhere. See, here we go. <laughs> Cap. She's very spiritual, so like you don't Somewhere. know what life she's talking about. No, but I wanted to show this. It's funny you say that about Facebook, because today I went to Turn this, of the um, century. an event, and there was a young girl, maybe she was like 22, and she goes, oh, you're on Instagram, something on Instagram. But I realized, I mean, I, for some reason, I go back to Facebook, because I've always been on it, but I'm on Instagram as well. But I do, you know, John always says, like, Instagram is first, or TikTok, you know? But these days, Facebook is like getting out of the... Or friends and family, right? You know what Facebook is? Remember the old family albums? I like Facebook, so don't look at me and like. <laughs> like stop talking about Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, so Facebook is where you show your family that you're alive and you got pictures of the kids and you. And then, but the real use on Instagram is that what it is? I don't, I'm, and then, I, and then, and then TikTok is get you the algorithm, gets you all your followers, right? Mm. So yeah, that's. See, that. yeah, I have I a lot have of TikTok. friends and clients on Facebook. It's very social and professional for me. Yeah. So what I was saying is the following: is that I know more women that are looking for men. A lot of times at a lot of events that I do, and they'll say, oh, by the way, if you know a single guy, let me know. And honestly, I mean, it's not like I'm... Uh, if okay. I knew a guy, like I would put him on the list and say, oh, I may mean, hook him up. Right. But I don't you, know that here, many guys Here's what it comes single. down to. You know the guy. Like, when women say that to me, I don't want to introduce them to the guys I may know. I don't socialize That's with. Bad. Because they're not at the value that I think they're worthy for that woman. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, no, no, no. Normally, I just try to I know what it. you want. I know what you want a, a woman. I know what you want. And that ain't what you want. Mm -hmm. If you want to go be a 304, I'll, I'll introduce you to the guy, so right? It's, it's funny. It's with a 304. Ho spelled backwards. So it, spelled you, backwards. You, because, because if you say that on social media or you post it, oh, right, then, then they, then they, they, oh. they ban you. They uh, you know, demonetize learn, you. Learn you know, something new every day. You know what's funny That's with John T? At a lot of the events and places, I always try to hook up with somebody. <laughs> but these days, as long as it's like breathing, the person's breathing and it's a man, I'm like, I'm just saying, hey, do you want to like... <laughs> Take a look at this guy. <laughs> Thanks. But um, no, I'm saying because she's very. I think she's picky, but she has a right to be picky, right? Right. But but to but get, I try, but she, it's very difficult. It's well, difficult because th the right person hasn't showed up yet. Well, here's but, here, how, how here, there's a there's a there's a delusion going on with social media. Women are getting hit up 24 seven. DMs are filled up. Yes. That the, social media is different than reality, right? But at the end of the day, women have so much accessibility to men, right? And I'm not saying they're qualified. Yeah. Those are guys that want to fuck them. Okay, or they may want the relationship, but they're like, nah, 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 nah. Oh, honey, honey, yeah. I get guys all the time, you know. And what? Here's the problem: then they overvalue themselves because of all the the attraction. Okay. But when they want that certain person, then they go, "Well, I'm not willing to make those changes, and I don't agree with you, and I'm not going to do that, and that's fine. I'll be alone, right?" I don't overvalue myself because I get all these DMs. Okay, the next guy that For uh, sure. Uh, so here's what I've done: I, I sign NDAs with all my clients, right, or co that I coach. Some people, guys make millions, some women make millions, some don't, whatever. And I, I say, let's go through a training. Next time you meet somebody, and I sign NDA, so I never talk about that particular situation. But I look at where the path they're going through, and every time it's like, well, you just said you're not difficult, you're not challenging. 
Here's a person. Well, he doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. And it can become very, very picky. Mm-hmm. But you, at least you got a list together. Mm-hmm. I always tell people to put, I put a list together. Because what happens with guys, we end up going like that dog that's humping on your Everything. leg. Like, mm-hmm. right? All, all the legs. I'm free. Yeah. I'm, I'm single. Is that bad? It, it, well, okay. <laughs> Look, you can't turn a stripper into a housewife, right? No pun intended, well, right? Because it, it's yes, just. Yes, you can. Yeah, you, no. <laughs> when they're done being a 304, then you go to the next phase, Plenty right? Plenty of strippers um, that became housewives. What are you talking okay. about? Okay. Especially in Vegas, no? Especially in Vegas. It's true. Come it does happen. <laughs> Half the wives in uh, Vegas are. Okay. No? Half Here we the go. wives in the world I'm here 21 you know, years have in been a, week. a stripper at some point, okay? Maybe supporting herself or her family. A high what? value man Come is on. not going to marry a stripper. He's well, not. He, he's not. Well, yeah, but what you if it's part he, of her past? <laughs> yeah, I, I, because I think they will. If it's part of her will, past. High value man, it? let me tell you why. Body count. It matters to a man. We won't. Okay. We, if, if we have an option. Like, if I say, okay, well, how many men have you... You're not going to answer this. Body count, like having sex with, you know, how many men? Well, just because someone's a stripper oh. doesn't mean they're sleeping with a lot exactly. of people. Exactly. They're just grinding on the It's the perception. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I, I don't like this whole principle, but also there's a fallacy there. Yeah, but it's the perception. It's, it doesn't matter what, you, what, what they do or not. It's the perception Percent. of where, where her past is. And we don't want to be associated with that. Oh, my Shanti. God. If that guess. was the case, then, like... Uh, but, but you just said, you just said, yeah, you just said quality married. men. You just said quality men. So quality men are like, you know what? She was... He, I have an option. I think there's a different definition of quality here is what's happening. Exactly. Shanti, but yeah, yeah, that's why I'm not single. You used to... Yeah. You, back in the day, you used to strip, right? At, at um, Cheetahs? <laughs> <laughs> no? no, I've never stripped at Cheetah. No, I, I did when I was, was like 20. It, okay. Yeah. In Texas. In Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like two, three year career. It was good. Yeah. Paid your way through college. Actually, I was just joking. Absolutely. I, I yeah, mean, there's no, a lot of guys. Like yeah, 90, Actually, I'll be honest with you. I used to say that all the time that if I could like, be stripping and making money back in the day, right? It's like, a general statement, I, right? I personally could it's do it. It's a general statement. Choice I would. No, I'm serious. Right? Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of women that used to strip. Or, I mean, a lot. I mean, we're talking about a huge percentage. I mean, they may not admit to it, no, but I, at some I, point. And I'm not saying there's yeah, not. They and and 90% it, you know? of the men in the strip clubs are married. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah, 99. Yeah. Exactly. Uh-huh, exactly. And, and and then when you tell women that no, they they don't go to they don't do that. Yeah, they do. Yeah. The guys yeah, you do. think don't are the ones that are there. Absolutely. One hundred percent. I mean, it's not just strip clubs. I, I one of my first jobs that I had, uh, it was full of married men that worked there, and they were all having affairs. Absolutely. And in some cases, they had a wife. And a pregnant girlfriend, and then another girl. You know, so when Which I saw that, I'm not going to say the name of the company. <laughs> she's like, she's like, they had a wife, a girlfriend, a baby, and that, another girlfriend with a baby, any, and yeah, another wife. It was that's very every guy. For me. If, if, was it Utah? If every guy Colorado. can get away with it, huh? if every <clears throat> if every single guy can get away with that scenario, they would. Like absolutely, he would. Absolutely, every single guy, no matter how they look or absolutely. what they have, what she's, they don't have. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's that, and, and especially and, the ugly ones. And here's the thing: when I say that, people, women get pissed off. I was like, this is the reality no it's true it's the reality so you you have your options you're gonna go with a billionaire that's gonna do it or a broke dude hey am i my thinking exactly i agree with that 100 percent. one thing she got boom <laughs> the, the billionaire or the broke guy i'll take the billionaire <laughs> now 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 the billionaire's probably got more accessibility right but the broke guy like Whatever, the guy dude. the bum he's gonna try yeah right i right. literally yeah this guy's like begging for money and then he asked me out i'm like what the hell right, we got about like seven eight minutes left i have two topics how many, how many minutes money, maybe put seven tip, eight minutes maybe put some tip in seven or eight put the tip uh, in. it's okay but, but two topics i want to bring up um because i think we're going back and forth in regards to this it's, it's interesting like i said i think he speaks really well about it it's interesting topics for yeah. females you know um i think a lot of the things that he says is correct but everyone's different and you know oh, you don't think what situation. we said is correct no, I mean, because I think what he's saying, I mean, I like the fact that he's, you know, he's speaking about it intellectually. He has data. He has studied it. I'm not saying any, like, you have to decide, like, we study what you want to do. Yeah. We study in real Listen, life. Listen, I, I personally could have been married <laughs> 10 times. I waited, right, to find that right person. And, and sometimes it takes time. But it's relationships aren't easy, whether you're just dating or you're married. You know, there's no perfect situation. <laughs> I could have been married 10 times because, you know. No, I'm, I'm just saying you meet, you meet like quality. a lot of women, a lot of women want to get married like well, right well, away. But here, here, how old were you when you got married? I was 34. Okay. 35. Tell men, now. don't get married until you're 35. Wait till you at least you're 35. Yeah, I do Because your that. value starts older. going up and you start. Men, at 18, women have instant value. Men don't. 
Men, men, they don't have they don't have the means. They don't have the income. They don't have the stability. They're not a provider. As they get older, their income goes up. Their value goes up. And the thirty five, right? Thirty five is a good age. Women, it, the, I tell them, you know, the, lo, the older you get, the clock's ticking, mm-hmm. right? I hate that <laughs> so much. Yeah, we love to be reminded yeah. of that, though. And, you know, it's but just it's amazing. Fact. Well, it's, it's fact. a fact biologically. Yeah. Yes, if yeah, you want to have children, true. not everyone wants to have children. And also by value. I disagree because you're, you're, there's a lot of men that like older women and and they or they or they don't care sure and Let's, but i hate that planting that because there's so much judgment yes. of women already about their appearance and there's so and much judgment just, on men on their height their net worth that's their why income th- but that's something that's well not the women. height but your income and your net worth that's something that's changeable but you're judging us lot. but it's okay for you to judge us but when we judge you it's a problem it's no. different judging no, it's no there's a difference in judgment and like what i want for myself right so okay, you so, know what? So you know what guys want? Statistically, mid twenties. I'm just saying yeah. that you saying uh, that their value goes down as a whole. Their like sexual marketplace value, well, not no. the person, not the person, well, what he's not saying, the human. There's I'm a, just saying you, but you're not being very specific, and sexual, I really okay. dislike that language because you're basically saying women's value goes down after they're 24, and that's There's, bullshit, and it's very painful. I think he's and hurtful. Of, yeah. But too bad. It's but, in a book. You can yeah. read a book on it. Well, I'm just saying, well, I think you should watch your language and be more aware. I don't need to watch aware. my language. I don't need to. But he's stating a fact. I mean, I, well, I, I, I will share I with you one thing. Factual, as, I, you know. as, yeah. as another man at this table here, I think I'm a man. You don't count. I can't make you voted off the table. <laughs> what I'm saying is, the you got to say, David, honey, what do you have to say? No, what I'm saying is, I think any guy that I know at any age, yes, they want that 24-year-old girl, whether they're 30, yeah. 40, 50, or 60. No one, even at seven years old, is like, I want to go get with a 50-year-old, right? They based want on, the younger girl. Based on their sexual marketplace value. The not, not the value of the person. The total marketplace Agreed. value yeah. is different. Sexual marketplace value, you're never as good looking as you were when you were in your yeah, mid-20s. Yeah. Period. He's talking collectively, which, no, you have a yeah. great point. Now, not yeah. every guy can get that that's 40 or 50 years old, right? So it's like, hey, here's where I'm oh, at. Oh, you have to settle for the 40, 50, 60 No, you don't have to then, settle, right? but hear me out. <laughs> if I'm 44 years old, or 46, and I want to have children, and I find a, a woman that's unmarried, yeah. no children, and she's in her mid-26 tw- years old, sure. and I qualify because I'm high-valued, she qualifies, and I can date that, why, would I date, why wouldn't I date her versus yeah. somebody that's 40, 40, 40 50 years exactly. old? Exactly. I have options. Now, the average guy doesn't have that option Yeah. because she's like, mm, no, you're not, you're not a provider. Yes. So when I met my girlfriend, she was 26, I was 47. Mm. Right? Yeah, no, she cool. hadn't learned yet to say no. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would say. <laughs> she was nice. Now I don't like her. Okay? They change it. You're a high value. Don't worry. Here. Thank you, All right. Here, here's value. a question. Uh, what, this could be a really good uh, question for, um, for Black Eyes here. Is that she gets a lot of pictures sent to her. Explain, oh, dick pics? Can you explain the situation? Oh, well, I, What's I the story behind that? Least. That's not something yeah. I would do personally. No. I don't I, understand that okay. either, honestly. It's interesting and, you say that. And I don't know them. What's just going on with that? I, my I girlfriend, ha- I, I'm not on my girlfriend's Instagram for a reason. She, you know, she, she doesn't have as many followers probably as you, 16K, but if I go on there, it goes to 1,000. I say, don't put me on your IG. I don't need to be on there, yeah. right? Um, she doesn't get many, and she's very attractive. But then her friend will get all these dick. It's like... Yeah. So what do you think it is? I think guys think... Some guys, it's a little too uh, with no value. <laughs> I'm not talking money. I'm talking guys that are gentlemen. Collective, like, sure. oh, I'm really horny. Maybe she'll come over and have sex. Yeah. So as many guys that are doing that are guys that would date you. Yeah. But like sending a dick pic now in California, if you do that, legal. It's illegal now. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm, you can I'm really prosecute them. That. You can prosecute. And so what I said is, well, what do I do when women send me tit pics? Mm-hmm. Can I prosecute them? Yeah. It's and? a joke. Don't take it literal. And? <laughs> it's a joke. But I, it is offensive. I get it. Yeah. So it's, but why, I don't, why do you think some women get that and some don't? Men are driven sexually. Okay. To my point. Yeah. And unless they understand how to control those needs and those desires, men, a lot, there's hyper aggressive sexual activity in men. And sometimes guys are looking at pictures, looking at your IG. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know, I'm not judging you. No, not too but much. You, I don't have any too much, got too many tape, stimulation. Oh, yeah. Caution oh, tape oh, oh you've seen my IG. But, oh, like, God. Fish that was net. Like, okay. That's so, like one photo. Jeez. She's like, that was like so what, what, what's years the guy, ago. What's that the guy like doing? 10 years ago. So, so here's the guy. Listen, the guy. He took said, a look at your stuff. I'm impressed. That he, he went, he you, went you went way back. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> way back. That was last week. We <laughs> Not last week, honey. I like it. <laughs> they, they, they're sexually driven, so they're probably at home. He has you know, an intel sorry, background, they're, by the way. They're, yeah. you know. And they're like, ooh, she's yeah. turning me on. Let me send her my dick pic. Right. But you know, There's no logic behind it. It's Other than they think that you'll like it. When we know, when we know. 
here as yeah. mature adults mm -hmm. yeah. that it's offensive to women. Now, yeah. here's the thing. Are there women that like it? Mm-hmm. Probably. But a pretty small percentage. Just yeah, like just like yeah. women, just like women will fuck without an emotional connection. Mm-hmm. They're a hoe. It, wait, well, wait, wait women, a second. Women no, I disagree with, with that. Well, I'm saying with is that she's promiscuous woman, like okay. a woman. Like, you're not just going to have sex so, with a woman. So, but is a man right. promiscuous yeah, no. if he sleeps with a lot of if women? A if a man sleeps with a lot of women, he's, he's highly desirable because he's high value. Yeah, he's not he's a He's a top 10% because only 10% of men, desirable. only 10% of men are, are having sex with women right now. So if he's having sex, I those are, and those are the women, those are the men, those are the men <laughs> yeah. that women are attracted to. But that guy, see that sucks, right? Because you know a woman's a hoe, but a man is not. Yeah, I, you know? I dislike that, this. Really, like you a just like it, but yeah. let me tell you but why. It's true. I, I because it's hard. It well. It's very hard for a man to go have sex. <clears throat> it's very hard. There's, there's. You they pay for it. That, exactly. Yeah. So hear me That's out. It's not hard. Any of you in here? No offense. You can go out right now and have sex tonight, and you mm -hmm. know it, one hundred percent. 90% yeah, of the men, ninety percent of the men can't do that. Yeah, ninety percent, and so the guys that can, they have some value, not because of the sex, but they have value. Those are the those are the guys that women are attracted to, and so for men, it's like, wow, this guy, he's he's got he's got status, he's got income, he's he's his social network's big, yeah. his affluent through his peers is is great. This is who I'm attracted to. Right, so mm -hmm. so that's that's the general rule. That's yeah. not who I'm attracted to, just to be honest. Right, so but one <laughs> answer first. That, but the hundred K guys five percent. Exactly. She made a yeah. joke once before. The hundred K guys five percent. When we He's brought the guy that can do that. When we brought the dick pics, she was like made a comment, like a joke, like, "Oh my God, you know, look at this penis. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna go call the guy. I'm right gonna, now. yeah, I'm gonna so, respond and say, come on over. But, so I, I oh, do he feel probably shit his pants. I do feel like it's. <laughs> I do feel like it's kind of like, would you say, like I'm saying, almost like a sexual predator sending a pics, a pics like that? I, I mean, I guess it can be hyper, defined as that. You legally. Hyper -tension, yeah. aggressive, like you're saying? I, I, it's, it's hypersexual activity. And the guy's right? just so Unwanted sexual and he's sexual so excited advance. that he's just doing something that he shouldn't be doing. Well, the, or he I, thinks that it's going to excite her. That like, oh my he God, thinks come over. the man generally thinks she's going to get turned on or he, she's yeah. into it. And he, because he's, he's, over there behind the screen, smoking weed, playing Xbox, doing this, mm -hmm. and he saw her 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 uh, Instagram. Right. And he's like, "Oh, you turn me on. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to have sex with you." Not understanding that women aren't wired that way. Okay. But I think there's a lot of men who actually do it because they know the woman will have a negative reaction. Like, like they want to stir it up. There's a excited. man. Oh. When I was young, there was a man who exposed himself to me at work, and he already had a record with underage. You know, children basically. Oh, okay. And I I deed him, and he went to prison, and he knew that I didn't like that. There was no just to get a reaction or yeah, something he, like that. Yeah, right? he the fact that it was like not wanted. Actually, I could tell. But uh, did he, but he, but it turned him on. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. Sexual, it turns him on, but it's not that right. they think oh she's gonna like it. I think sometimes they know it's not gonna be wanted, but it still turns them on anyway. So now when I do get in <laughs> dick pics, I send back another photo of a, of a transsexual with a big old, you know, that looks kind of Asian. I said, mine's bigger. <laughs> and then the guy's at the door. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, right. so, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 that's funny. She does do that. <laughs> I was going to say, she could prosecute a lot of people in California. She's, she'd be in court like all yeah, year. Yeah, look, look it up. It just passed. I think it was last year. It was a lot. Okay, how, no, how, honestly, how many dick pics do you get like, I, on a, I think on a like monthly maybe, basis? No, just maybe one or two a month. A month. Okay, yeah. So, so she'd be in court like twenty four yeah. times. But I bet you I You should text a, back like, "Hey, are you in California?" Like I guess you, yes. Oh, you know, I got one. You know what used to happen to me though? Um, because I, I ride motorcycles, and you know, and since since I was with younger, your cat. <laughs> not with my cat. <laughs> Wait, my pussy. How many? How many, <laughs> how many cats do you have? <laughs> Two pussies. How many cats do you have? Zero. Well, but I yeah. But she yeah, dreams. Yeah. She dreams of cats. She, she dreams of kitties. Them. Yeah. I uh, know. So when I so uh, <laughs> I used to have guys exposing themselves to me when I was on my motorcycle all the time. Wait, wait, what? And even now in my car wait. because I, uh, my car's wrapped with with my picture. How are they exposing you when you're on the motor? I don't understand. Oh. Like the guy on the side of the road. Yeah. No. 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 They're in their car and I'm you know stop at a light or I'm pulling up to the light and they see me and so they're like you know leaning over to ask me like a question or it looks like they're asking me a question and then you know I'm like yeah. And, uh, How are you, when the truck the car is higher than the motorcycle? No, no the motorcycle is no. higher. Motorcycle is higher. No, the for a regular car. Yeah, when you're sitting, yeah, you're yeah. sitting, you're it's almost the same. Basically, the same guy level. is showcasing yeah. his penis to Unless her. he's in a truck, then I won't be able to see him. But you, you know, should, yeah, you should just respond, cars. flip your visor, up and go. That's it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was younger. You I mean, know. that's what I did. That guy, I'm, I laughed at him. And but, is, I'm, but I'm so this shocked. Is very common I don't for know what to common, say. Yeah. It, 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 it has been very common. So. Start a YouTube channel. <laughs> but no, that, it has been very common. That's why I wonder why why certain people get it and certain people don't, or certain women get a lot more of that and certain don't. Do, do I, I have like a you know show me your cock or something stamped on my head? That'd be a good one. Yeah. Right. Like next her, next show, we'll get a sticker that says that. <laughs> it's on, it's on her motorcycle. It says, "Show me your guy." Show no, your you need to get a GoPro on your helmet, okay. and then when they do that, make sure it's on and just go. Yeah, I know, right? That's it, and then and then blo uh, blurch it out oh, that, or watch it out. A, that'd be a put good on show. YouTube and say, "That's it." That'd go ahead. Be, <laughs> um, that'd be a good show. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna make it to good topics. I wanted to try to wrap up. What's your thoughts in regards to female with cleavage and men? Like we should change things for men. Like we should be showing. Like your if women are showing cleavage, <laughs> your butt crack? what should men show? Like I feel like men should start showcasing no. their butt crack? balls. Like butt crack. well, not, not, I don't think there's wanted. anything attractive about a man's penis to a woman, really. In, mm. Generally, it's just like it's whatever. But I mean, you know, I show mean, your butt crack. I mean, be kind of like what a... should men be showing? I mean, I guess their physique. But I'm saying if women are showing cleavage, what? Is it bad? Six pack. I'm saying but you should change. No, not six. I'm not saying you should show up. Show up your that's balls. The, the There's closest a, so thing. So when you wear a short, just cut it really, really high. I want, what I'm trying to say, I want to start shorts. a trend where like men show their balls. Yeah, there you go. And if you see, if you see like a big <laughs> set of balls, like wow, that guy's really. I want to get with that guy. Well, exactly. the, femi the, fem the feminist. I want to make a trend. Hey, the feminist. You should start that. The, the feminist <laughs> movement started free the nipple. I was like, hey, I'm all for it. Finally, we agree with something, right? Why would I get in trouble if I want to like just a cut in the bottom of my balls and hang out? prison. Why would I go to jail? But she has cleavage. It's acceptable. Because, because genitals she, are different than the why you would totally well, get men arrested. Show their nipples it's all not the time. their penis. I'm talking about the testicles. Because because well, it's, it's part indecent. of the genitals, though. It's it, it's what is it called? You were please all indecent exposure. exposure. But why is breast? No. Because she's not showing her her and areolas nipples. or okay, nipples. So then so then it'd be your testicles, but just a little bit of it, not the whole. Well, like yeah, cleavage. you can, Dave. If you, that's what you want to showcase, there's a different part of town here. But I think it'll attract a, a yeah. different type of gender. <laughs> yeah, oh, whatever. I agree. Not the female. Probably. Well, there's a female. There. Maybe we'll have Chase, our engineer, who will test it out uh, when he's female the there. Time. Chase, I've tried Chase. it a couple times before. Okay. All right, last thing is this. I think that'll be All fun. Right, real quickly. Let's go I together. Let's three go tips, together. Three tips of advice, uh, what, men or women in regards to dating. And actually, then I'll have um, uh, Laura and John T. They could add three tips as well. Oh, Jesus. But we'll start with you since you're the... Um, three. Okay. You're the, guru. Since you're the guru. You're the guru. I'm not the guru. Guru. I just tell you what I see in here. I like it. Um, it's good stuff. <laughs> I would say, to, to her point, and I tell people this was interesting, the first woman I've spoke to that has a list, I say, put a list together and hold yourself accountable. Okay. You know, have a, a primary, uh, primary list and a secondary, primary requirements, secondary requirements, things you cannot live without. And they have to be somewhat realistic, right? We can't say, hey, I want, you know, 18 jets, you know, well, you know what I mean, yeah, right? Yeah. So, uh, so primary requirements and a secondary. And when you have that list, I always tell people, put on the back of your, your, your closet door where nobody sees it. And you'll forget about it. But next time you meet somebody, it's like, oh, I got to go to my list. And those, those primary requirements, I always tell people maybe one thing you can maybe like, for instance, uh, like she has to be, you know, ha come from a good home. Maybe that's your thing. Mm -hmm. whatever that's not mine i'm just saying mm -hmm. and so you have this list and then she has to know how to cook maybe that's your for a guy maybe he has to make x amount of money maybe he has to have certain height maybe he has to you know and the secondary one this was one like for instance my girlfriend she didn't make the height requirement mm -hmm. she's five one and some change i said five three to five six i wrote everything down okay and then she she didn't watch football Mm -hmm. That was a secondary. Mm -hmm. It's like, I can live without that. Mm -hmm. It's not the end of the freaking world. It's hard enough for us to meet the right person. And so your primary, the stuff that you mentioned, or you didn't mention, but I know you're I have a list. I'm like in. Shanti. I have a you're list, about, yeah. Keep the list. Uh, number two, always be open-minded. Give. I, I don't say give people a chance, but take some time to get to know the person. You know, nobody's perfect. Men make more mistakes than women, in my opinion. And I, I think sometimes, you know, it's like, oh, you know, he said this. Well, give him a little bit of latitude, but again, don't let him cross the line, mm. right? But don't be so in a, in a rush to, to cancel him out, right? Uh, the third thing is, is, you know, understand where you're at, where your value's at, right, to that person you're looking for. Ask yourself what they're looking for. And always ask the man what they're looking for, right? Mm. I think setting right expectations in advance after you start dating him, obviously, when you go to dinner, you're not going to grill the guy. Yeah. Right? No. First few dates, you can't talk about that. Right. You obviously. just kind of talk about, you know, but you have, you might, maybe you want to have kids one day. That needs to come out somewhere, not six months from now. And he's like, I don't want to have kids. Or he wants kids and you don't want kids. Or maybe he, you want cats and he don't want cats. 
right? So put your 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 uh, expectations out front, mm. in the in the after the. Fr- How many dates? Three. Three two, dates. Two to oh, three. Man, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's tough. If you put fire a list here. off to a person right away. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I think it takes even more than three dates because you don't want to, as a woman, you don't want to be the one that mentions it first, right? Because it might scare them away if they're not really ready, or. You know, I disagree because I, I think like men that want to get married in a family, a lot of times they know that that's what they want. And if that's what, know, you know, man. they're not, you're not going to scare. Okay. Like, away. like you're not going to talk about prenups on the first couple of days. Yeah. I completely <laughs> you agree. You see what I that. mean? Right. So you're like, Hey, I'm signing a prenup. It's like, Oh dude, we're not even at that level yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We're just, yeah. we're going on a date. We're evaluating each other. It's yeah. an interview. Yeah. Right. And Be- but I think there's no point in wasting time with someone who doesn't want that same end goal. Absolutely. As you. Like, 100%. If you want to just date around and have fun, have sex, whatever, 100%. fine. But if you want to get married, don't waste yeah. your time with someone who doesn't want that. 100%. 100%. So that's my three. Yeah, but that, oh, yeah, but you know, the first few days is just getting to know that person yeah, and seeing yeah. if you actually like well, that, them too. It's enough a, to have It's a job that interview. Serious it's a job interview. You're yeah. interviewing. You know, yeah. are we compatible? And then yeah. you go to the next level and the next level, right? Jansi so is confusing. hiring. So if anyone here that's listening, <laughs> Uh, hey, available. you get pool guy? I got a pool guy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had this one list that I did for fun, actually. It was just more of a joke. But yeah, it was kind of you know, my requirement to hire people for my staff at my, at my house. It's funny. Maybe I'll repost it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. All right, Laura, tell us three three uh, tips for people listening in your in your eyes. Oh, so I completely agree with Black Eyes. Um, the, the number one is be clear on what you want. Most people, I mean, I think that's true not just for dating or 100%. relationships, but in life. Like, what are you aiming for? What are you trying to, you know, get to? So be clear on what you want. Boundaries, I think, especially for women, not mm-hmm. to accept poor treatment. Um, I'm an old-fashioned girl in the sense of dating and relationships. I, don't, I want someone to formally ask me out if someone... You treats me poorly. Yeah. Then, you know, so that's a boundary for me. So be clear on that, what your boundaries are and what they aren't. Um, and then I would just say also hmm. not to um, be afraid to put yourself out there. Like actually, like a lot of people, they're, they're either not out in person or they're not online. And I feel like you have to do one or the other. Like you still, you know, I believe in energetic manifesting and everything but you still have to provide opportunity one way or the other you have to be you have to be accessible somehow you can't be a hermit Right. And just hide in your house and not be online. Uh huh. Yeah, you can. That's what I'm waiting for. That well, guy to just I show up and knock to, on my door. You have to be in person or guy. online or pool. <laughs> That's your pool guy. Pool pest. <laughs> pest. <laughs> AC. They all come. You're kitty <laughs> groomer. <laughs> You're kitty groomer. <laughs> no, I don't know, Dave. Actually, why don't you give three us tips? your three tips? You know, I was just thinking about it because you know, it's back really to tough me. for me to I, think you know, about You know, I tell her all the time, I think that um, you need to be in it to win and take some action. So I think that people, these days, everyone's online. So you have to find like the best. Three, three different online uh, websites, you know, dating apps, and right. you have to be in it. So now, things that are free, I think that you need to probably pay for a good website because the person that's probably committed it depends what you try to do. Like if you just try to hook up with someone right there, then they go to one website. But if you're looking for a relationship, I think you need to go to a website where someone's paying. With like, a man, like SugarDaddy.com is that? Oh, there you go. Yeah, you, you have think I might do well there? Yeah, I feel yeah. like I you definitely like, would. Yeah. I feel like I was committed and I paid money for it. So, and you got to be in it to win it. So a perfect example, like my wife, she was only on there for maybe two weeks and maybe I was on eHarmony for three years. I, it wasn't like I was not dating. I was meeting different people. wasn't the right person, right? Does it tell you how long you're on there? Uh, it's been a while. I mean, it's been years. Dave's been know. on here for 10 years. He hasn't <laughs> had any luck. <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't Memories say how long. Since it doesn't brother. Like, you never know. Brother, we someone, need to talk. You know, <laughs> imagine he says like, on members since 86. <laughs> wait, wait, he's married. He's still on there. Yeah. So, um. Uh, you're making me think of another story. That's another thing. See, some of those online dating sites, and I don't have one, but I, uh, my girlfriends do. So we see, I've seen the same guys on there because they showed me same, Got like it. 10 fucking years, you know, or There's 15 years. So it's like, why I, I, are I used they to see that. There? I used to see the two with their picture changes or something. I mean, anyway, long story, you got to be in it to win it, so you got to take some action. You never know when you break up in a relationship, but when she breaks up a relationship, she breaks up with the pool guy, and then basically, <laughs> you know, she's out and about looking for a pest control guy or another guy, right? And so, my pool guy's wife right now going, you motherfucker. <laughs> so you got to be in it to win it. I also mentioned that, you know, people say Vegas is a bad place. I think that if you go to different events, like we went at uh, a lunch the other day, they were all like, well, we, we will hope that we're all professional people, and 
Yeah, just because you wear a suit and tie doesn't mean that you're professional. Right. You're a sex <laughs> Vegas, Vegas. Maybe sex <laughs> offender. But long story short, uh, you know, you got to go to different events. Sometimes they say, right, your um, your net worth is your network. Yeah. Your network I mean, is you got together. And biggest so conventions in the world. Yeah. People I mean, you have, coming in. You have tons of conventions. Actually, I think stay away from conventions you're for women because most of these people are coming from out of town. Mm. You know, like more local. But, you know, and, and not always doctors and lawyers, but I think these professional events, you know, where you meet. I say this, but it's wrong to say. Like I was about to say, like a banker, doctor, lawyer, but some of those people are pretty evil Ooh, too. Oh, they get around that but, whole circuit. The whole cir- there's a circuit, right? But I'm just saying, I got, I got, I got to sign an NDA and look at your list. I'll never talk about. It. I really got to sit down and look at your list. No, so, I don't, I've only had sex with like ten people. But bottom line is for Seriously. good this week total. But uh, for good people, this you have to, week. For, for for good people, get your body count. Out. <laughs> ten. It's like, it was only like ten people this Whatever, week. Ever, dude. Um, so ten. The bottom line is you need to win it and take some action and meet good people and try. But you, you gotta just, you gotta, I'll be honest, you gotta treat it like a job. You gotta treat it like a little bit of a job. You wanna find someone oh, if you're really committed, because it takes time. It does. You it have takes time. It's, it's a job. It, it, it's a she's, process. She's a little bit lazier. I'm as old she's fashioned. Older. No, I'm not lazy. I'm old fashioned, and but I think not I will meet him. You, if I say to you right now, you gotta treat dating and finding someone like a job, what would you say? I, She'll be like, that's too much work. I, yeah, I, it's that, a job. I can't do that. No, but yeah, honestly, I treat it. If I wanted to meet someone, look, I met people all the time. But if you want to meet the right person, right, it takes a little bit of an effort. You can't just sit in your home with your cats and basically yes, you hope can. <laughs> and drive a motorcycle and just think that you're going to find someone. Yeah. yeah that's, all, that's why she interviews different pool guys. Yeah. I mean, she's constantly looking for good help in the house. So anyone's listening, pool, plumbing, heating, air conditioning. Um, Cat gr- control, kitty groomers. Kitty groomer. <laughs> kitty groomer. Pussy groomers, Go to yes. the problem oh, solver. Oh, dot Vegas. Pussygroomer.com. Okay. It's funny you say that because I'm going to say that. Anyway. <laughs> he's going to gonna buy that URL right now. Well, I'm going to share something with you. It's funny. You want to share anything, you don't have to. No, I can't think of anything. Okay, fine. Yeah, wait, yeah, she got to come up with a list. I, I'm so bad things. with thinking complex. on the spot. Like, I'm, it's really bad. My memory is so old, okay? So I need time you know. to reflect and think about. So you tune know, into like Lifetime or whatever it is in the future, possibly. Li- lifetime? Is Hulu? Lifetime? Yeah, Hulu. Hulu. Mm-hmm. Tune into Hulu to find more No, about. seriously, yeah, my brain doesn't work that well. But can, okay. I, can I add one more thing that it. I forgot to say? So one of the things I think, especially for women... Um, is women tend to emotionally commit faster than a man. And one of the factors of that is um, in physical intimacy. Like if you have physical intimacy, it releases all these hormones and basically it shuts off the critical thinking of your brain. That's why I don't have sex. And that's why I think actually for women, I think it actually can, may be wise if you want a committed serious relationship, not to have sex, you know, yeah. too early because then you aren't seeing the person clearly. Right. Or don't have sex at all because we get so attached. If you're yeah, interested in talking too, about yeah. abstinence, you can contact the John T at one eight three three John T. Yeah. All right, last thing I want to three, share with you. Jean-T. I'm very creative in regards to marketing, so when people say certain <laughs> things, like you mentioned the website, you said three three things today. I just wanted to see if the, I always see if the domain's available. So you mentioned <laughs> food, fun, and sex, which sounds like a good operation for like a for like a food eatery place that was available. Foodfunsex.com or was food, available. Football, fun, and sex. Yeah, I mean, it's like guys it's are not, guys are simple. I think people would go to a place like that if it said food, fun, and sex. Oh my god! Anyway, of course. the other that one has to be that has to be a, that would have to be in prump. Prump. Yeah. That's, that's a strip. The other one was prump, right. The other one was says you said no cash, no ass. That was taken. <laughs> <laughs> and then show, believe it or not, show me your cock.com. Is six hundred eighty eight dollars. Well, I didn't. I didn't say that. Well, one. We said that, that was hers. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it that, came up. That's going to be your personal domain. So, so we're going to get showmeyourcock.com for all people with helmets <laughs> for female helmets. Dude, I'm telling you that YouTube would take off. <laughs> Show me your cock. Oh yeah, I bet it will. But I mean, would, would it stay on? I think they would ban. They, would, they wouldn't ban they wouldn't it. Allow it, right? Yeah. Show me your sausage. <laughs> Does it have the same ring? That's a ring. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look up that one after. Okay. Or Vienna. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Show me your Vienna. It's this cold out there's right now. There's a lot of those. It's this cold out right I'm sure now. There's I, plenty of that. I, how do you know if you've only been with 10? Well, no, I mean, I hear uh, stories. Uh, uh, oh, you hear. Okay. Women, Women talk. Women she talk. watches TV. Men talk too. Yeah. She watches reality shows. Yeah. <laughs> and I <laughs> watch porn reality. on occasion. On occasion. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I think we got further enough. Black Ice, thank you so much for joining us. I think it was a good topic. And Black Ice. What I say? <laughs> Cat lady. It just sounds like black guys. Black guys? Yeah. Black guys? Black That's because he's got that New York accent. Oh, black, is that what it is? Okay. Black ice. What, th- what, that black person ice. she was talking about the concert, was that you? No. Oh, okay, because it was a black ice person oh, there's too? A, in a rapper, Vegas, there's a, 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 there's a local performer who oh. goes by Black Ice and oh, he wears okay. a Batman head and okay. he performs but that's not a shirt. No, because he's also guy. Black Ice. Yes. This is the original black OG ice. Black Ice. But he's here. Black I'm Double ice. OG. Do you old know the guy, guy, original gangster. I'm old guy, original gangster. But the OG Black, G? is it because you're I'm black, black and Ice. Oh, black and white. Oh, got it. Look at this. See? 
old people. We so, don't get it like that, honey. Well, my my IG is black and white, best of both, because everybody starts speaking Spanish to me. Oh, okay. Well, I can speak Spanish too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you then they're like, a, you can be a Middle, Middle Eastern. I can. You know so, what? Yeah. If if shit hits the fan, and yeah. you can run. I can land almost I was, anywhere. I'm Mexican. <laughs> I was adopted. <laughs> So an American, but a Mexican don't kill me. I'm I'm Persian. I'm there you, go. you know I can do everything, but like right. maybe Japanese, Chinese, Diverse. and Korean. Right. <laughs> you know I always tell my wife, not that I'm gay whatsoever. I said this guy's got a really good beard. Yes. Would you say this? Is an, it's a nice. Very looking nice. Beard? Very nice. I think you could sell, for Halloween. Yeah. You could sell it. Like you could sell like a sell it. Replica. Well, yeah. Maybe maybe if I do, do you, that, it looks like I have a mask on. Do you take care of it? It's good. It looks good. I used to, yeah. You like yeah. yeah I, trim I could, it I could yeah. not. Well, I went in the like casino that. when they had the mask deal, and he goes, "Put your mask on." I went. I actually like that. You know how people yes. have the beard mask? Yeah. What they oh, say? Oh, I never saw oh, the guy's like, Yeah, that's you funny. Know, he, he didn't laugh. His security. <laughs> <laughs> that was back when it was mask mandate. Like 86, <laughs> trespass this guy. Well, you know, you, you remember you walk in, you got your mask, you're getting ready to put it on. Put your mask on. Yeah. It's like, dude, relax. Just chill. Yeah. I'm getting it. You know? <laughs> got it. The spores is going to, you know, reach right. you right now. Black Eyes, you're going to watch her stuff. In the future, you come back. We'll critique. You're going to critique her reality show for the. Oh. Last two seasons, when you watch the third season, oh, yeah, which we think may come out from, I'm just feeling it, you'll watch that, and then you'll critique um, her and give her all you know, the wisdom that you have. Yes. Wisdom. But anyway. I want, I want love, to... love your wisdom. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, love your pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate you coming to the show. I thought it was great in general. I think it's, uh, it was definitely entertaining, engaging, intellectual conversation about dating and stuff like that. I and mean, the bottom line is, look, it is a problem. And the whole point about the problem solver is to try to solve some problems. I don't know if we solve it much It makes today. sense now. The problem solver. Right? It all goes back to solving some problems. So the bottom line is, the goal is to figure out how to solve a problem. We add some tips and some information. People will take it and take it for Absolutely. Work. But again, dating is not the easiest thing whatsoever. Marriage, relationships, you know, it's a lot out there in general. So if you need some help, Black Ice mm -hmm. can help you as a consultant. Um, thank you so much, Laura, our celebrity psychic and co-host. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. G, Cat yeah. Lady. We appreciate you coming on the show. God, I hate these How do they call you doctor? Are, are, you, are you a doctor? Is that just a nickname? Yes, I'm a doctor of love. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get any love. It's kind of like a hypocritical of the situation. <laughs> Check, please. <laughs> but anyway, I, a doctor of no love. <laughs> But anyway, thanks so much. All you guys have been amazing. Great conversation. Again, we'll see uh, the, the Problem Solver, problemsolver.vegas. If you got a problem, you need some help, 702-999-1111. You can text or call that number if you got a problem. You need help. You want me to contact with any of these amazing people. Again, the Problem Solver, every single week, Thursday, 430 Live. See you next week. Be safe.